This is Stacy and Scott, and today on On Hamburger, we're going to make roasted quinoa, no, roasted veggies. And yeah. <laughs> yes. Woohoo. Yeah. Roasted veggies and quinoa. And we finally figured out how to pronounce it correctly. And the roasted veggies would be cauliflower, carrots, and broccoli. Yeah. All pre cut. All you got to do is season them up, throw them in the oven. And while that's cooking, you make the quinoa, and it's really easy, super healthy, and it feels like comfort food. All right. Let's do it. The Unhumburger. You can buy these nice pre-cut, pre-washed veggies at just about any, veg any uh, grocery store. Yep, and you separate them into different bags, cauliflower and carrots in one, obviously, and broccoli in the other. And we do this because they cook for different lengths of times, and we also season them slightly differently. So it's nice to have them all separated in the bag. Makes it easy to season. A little bit of olive oil will go into both. You don't have to measure the olive oil, though, but it is about one to two, two tablespoons each bag. A little salt and pepper is always good to taste on both bags or pouches. <laughs> and some turmeric on just the cauliflower and the carrots. Yes, turmeric has great health value, uh, particularly when combined with the cauliflower. I like really? the shake and bake method, yes. Oh, that's cool. Look that up to make sure everything is well coated, both your oils and spices. And then a little bit of balsamic vinegar on the broccoli to give it a nice char. Yes, it actually cooks well and adds a little bit of extra flavor with that. Now on a baking sheet, you don't have to use foil, but this does help us for really quick cleanup. Same thing with the bags. I mean, you could use bowls, and, but it makes it really fast. Absolutely. Talking about ease on this one. And we're gonna cook at about 375 for about a half an hour total, but the cauliflower and carrots could use a 10 minute head start. And some quinoa. If you add some bouillon, it gives it a little bit of extra flavor. Quinoa on its own has a nice nutty flavor, but the bouillon just makes it just a little bit tastier. Yep, your veggie bouillon, recommended to go on just before the quinoa mix. Tricolor I like better. I don't know if it tastes different than just the plain white, but I, for some reason it's more fun to eat. It is, it looks nicer. You can just follow your package instructions, about two cups of water to one cup of quinoa. You want to bring that all to a nice rapid boil. And once that happens, go ahead and cover and set down to simmer for recommended cooking time, about 15 to 20 minutes. All right, so this has been in for 10 minutes already, right? The broccoli, I mean, the cauliflower and the carrots. That's when you can throw your broccoli in to cook for the remaining 20 minutes or so. Usually we cut up our vegetables a little bit more than this when we do it, but it, we found out that you could do it really either way. And then you can chop them up afterwards. Make sure your quinoa is done cooking when all the water is evaporated and some separation happens with some rings there. Oh yeah, the edge of the rings. Uh, I'm sorry, each kernel has a little bit of like a, a film or a little ring around it and it separates when it's perfectly finished and ready. Done. Give a quick last stir to your veggies and then bed up a bowl of your quinoa. It's much like rice in the ways that you can use it, but it cooks faster and it has a totally different flavor great source of protein. Oh, that's right. So it is really good for people that don't eat meat. Feel free to cut up your veggies the one last time before placing them over your bowl of quinoa. Look, they're really nicely roasted and they have a good slight char on each one of them. It's um, such a good meal. That's quinoa and veggies. I think I just said quinoa wrong. Subscribe to our channel and ring the bell for notifications on weekly uploads. And leave your thoughts in the comments below.